Hey everybody, today I am really, really excited. I thought the Curve Lathe brush was the most exciting brush I have discovered so far, but there's another brush that is even more exciting. So exciting that I had to rent a space shuttle and fly to the moon. Okay, yeah, so press B, C, and then M. BCM Curve Multi Lathe Brush. This is really, really exciting. Okay, now to further look at this brush, let's uh, land on the moon. Okay, approaching, approaching, approaching. Whoa, whoa, slow down, we're gonna crash. Okay, that's good. Let's stop right there. Oh, what happened? <laughs> uh,. Okay, now let's move around the moon. Okay. And let's look at a um I don't know, a place to breathe on the moon. This is a little earth on the moon that I created it costs hundreds of billions of billions of trillions of dollars. Okay, so, um, let's see, let's... Nah, we'll render later. Uh, exit, yeah, okay. Um, this is where we're going to be looking at this fascinating brush. So let's open Subtools. Okay, here's our planet thing. And we have Curve Multi-Lathe selected. And just like Curve Lathe, you draw out a line. Could be straight, could be wiggly, doesn't matter. When you let go, it takes the two points and it, it circles around, just like that. So if we create another one, it's going to create a circle around that, right? And I'm not having to... Um, I can create multi lathes without having to uh, dynamesh down at the bottom, which is really, really exciting. So if we control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z, we can uh, spice up our little habitat right here a little bit. Okay, there's one, two, that, eh, it's not all the way in, so let's. Creating it in ZBrush really saves on uh, uh, actually going up there and trying it by hand. Okay. Good. Isn't this fascinating? Love this brush. If you had like a character or uh, something you were working on, you could just have like the bare bones of it and then uh, start creating the limbs just by using this brush. Okay, there's the primary thingamajig. Okay, let's create a few more. One. And uh, one more. You have to make sure you don't uh, affect those other lines, because then you'll be modifying their lines. And now, what you can do is, let's say I didn't like this too much, we could move it. Right, move it around or adjust the shape of any of these. Okay, this whole thing doesn't look too great, so I'm going to move everything around. Isn't this really cool? Okay, let's control Z. Whoa, we're on the moon, so there's a little bit of lag time. Okay, now, oh, no, zoom out, okay, stop right there, right, <laughs> um, acting like I've got some uh, flying camera that's, yeah, anyway, okay, control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z, control Z, okay. Now let's say 
I have what I want on this little um, knick-knack that we've created in space. We could zoom out and okay, click and drag outside of the mesh to deselect everything and then do it again to dynamesh it um, to your object. But first we have to make sure dynamesh is on. It's not, so let's turn this on and now it dynameshes it to that object. Isn't that cool? I love this brush. So exciting. Curve lathe was nice, but curve multi lathe is even better. Makes sense. Multi probably means more. Um, yeah, if anybody likes this brush and is excited to explore more of these brushes, please subscribe, comment below, you know, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody.